Hi everyone. Um, I've had quite a few requests um, following the video where I showed you um, these backgrounds that I made with my Kuratake um, watercolours. And so I'm going to show you um, how I made them. So let me just clear these away and then I shall bring in um, a piece of paper. First of all, this is the Kuratake um, box. This is how it um, it comes. So it's in a lovely um, wooden, wooden box. Um, those are the colours um, that you get. Um, they're all in Japanese and numbered, so I've just colour swatched mine. And they're in sort of like, let's see if I can get one of these out, because I've added water um, to these. They're in sort of like these porcelain, um, I think they're porcelain, no, I think they're plastic actually, um, little trays. Um, but I just, I just love them. And then they come with um, a mixing tray as well. Some of mine spilt, I can sort of reactivate that. That's obviously come off the, the pale blue though. In fact, I might peel it in actually peel it off and pop it back in um, but that's what they um, look like and they're beautiful vibrant um, colours let me turn it that way so that you can um, see um, lovely vibrant um, colours um, more opaque than your average watercolour set um, I have found and you know I'm new to these I had these for my birthday which was back in June and prior to coming out here I haven't really sort of used them up There's, just thought it'd be a great opportunity to sort of start playing with these when I um, came out here so um, let's have a go this is um, mixed media paper um, 169 pound mixed media paper and I'm going to spray it um, with some some water. Let's start off with um, this one here on the left hand. In fact, let me move that one out of the way and then I know that in fact Spray the back first and then spray the front and it should stop it um, from curling So let's just check. Yep yeah. I'm in shot for you. So I'm just spraying this with lots of um, water as I say and then I'm just going to go in there with um, my water colour brush. This is a 10 Royal. Um, and I'm going to do this one in various shades of blue. So I'm going to start off with the darker blue and I'm just going to dot the colour on there. If it's not moving, um, just add some, some more water. It's so hot out here, of course, everything dries really, really quickly. So, um, I'm just dotting that on and then I've got um, some water here and then I should go in with um, a slightly lighter blue, in fact it's just a more vibrant blue isn't it and just keep dotting it on and spraying to disperse the water. There we go, and then we'll go for just a, another shade, we'll go for sort of like a petroly blue this time. And the trick is just sort of using lots of water um, with, with this. I want to go around the edges as well, so I want to get as much background as I can. Let's go back in with some, some more. Let's. And then we'll go in with a different um, blue. I could add some green to this as well. So just using all the blues that I've got. So, so far I've used this very dark one here. That was the first one I used. Then I used that one. Then I've used the petrol. And now I'm using, whoops a daisy, this one here. And you can see I'm not being particularly precious about my palette, which is probably sort of a bit naughty and um, would have some people sort of up in arms, but you know, it's, this is mixed mixed media. I'm not doing fine, fine art here, and I just want to play and have some fun. I don't want to be too precious about things where I'm frightened um, to use it. Then, what shall I add? I'm going to um, add um, some of the lighter, the very pale cornflower type blue. I think this is a really gorgeous, pretty colour. So, again, I can add some more water around the edges here. Let's go in and add some more. I 
and I can come back in and I can add some more of the darker colour if I want to. Just, you know, really simple, really easy, sort of no rhyme or, or reason, just putting colour where you feel you want it um, to go. And then, sorry about my arm here, I'm going to just drop in, whilst it's wet, in fact I'll add a bit more, bit more water, I'm just going to drop in isopropyl alcohol and just let it do its thing. And then it's just literally as simple as that. And then I can mop up where I've got um, some of the pooling. You can either leave that to, to just completely dry um, or you can mop some up with a piece of kitchen towel um, if you want to. But I'm going to leave that to dry before I do um, the next phase and then I'll come back. One thing I've forgotten that um, I did last time that I haven't done on this one is I'm going to add some um, silver and some gold in this palette here. This is the 36 um, colour palette and I've got a, a plain white then I've got sort of like a silver blue, um, a gold and a bronze and I'm going to add... Um, some of the, the silver. In fact, it's probably was silver. It's just that I've very naughtily got um, some blue in mine. And let's just drop some of some of this in. Let's just clean my brush off and um, but these colours are just adorable, really pretty, and the shimmer on the gold and the silver is just just gorgeous. I'm just dropping this in and then I'm going to do the same and I'm going to add some of the, the gold. Um, I'm going to go for the sort of more antique gold. Just add some of, some of this where you, where you want it. Cleaning my brush in between and then picking up um, more, more colour. And I can spray that to disperse it if I want to. I can add bigger splotches and in fact let's add some of the goldy bronze colour as well. Why not? But when this dries the effect is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's mop up some of that pooling there. And let's just add some alcohol without spraying any more water and just see. And there we go, it just moves it um, around again. And I just, I just love, I just love that. So we'll leave that one to dry. I'll put this one to one side and then we'll try one in purples. So here goes. So I'm just going to start off with some of the blue, which has got sort of a bit of a really dark, gorgeous blue. And this time I'm going to add bigger um, blobs of it. Add a bit of water and get that to there we go, get that running. As I say, it's so hot out here that um, I'm sure I'd get a completely different effect if I was doing this at home. Oh, I just love that spreading. Um, and then we'll sort of work our way um, along. Spray some water here. Some of this gorgeous purple. In fact, I'll add some of the darker purple first. But these colours are just gorgeous. And 
You can give those a squirt too. And then we'll add some of the lighter purple. There's not much difference in, in these colours. Um, you can see it more when it's when it's dry. And then I'll come in then with some of the magenta. And then make sure you clean your brushes off sort of well in between changing your, your colours. And then I'm going to do some splattering here. Add some more paint. And the more water you've got in your brush, the better the splatters um, you'll, you'll get. And we can add some of the magenta sort of in here if we want to and that's mingling nicely. And then I can come back in then and add some of the silver. Oops, I should have cleaned my brush off better there. I've added a bit of purple to that, but never mind. And then again, I can do the same. And then let's add some of the alcohol and see what happens. pretty I just love the effect and then I can go in and add, um, add some gold and just load my paintbrush up there and I can even sort of add some gold to my white space Right, and now I've loaded my paintbrush up with some of the white, so I'm going to splatter some of that on. And you can just keep layering and layering and layering as much as you um, like. Let's add some more of the lovely silver. And then I shall go in with some darker colors then. And then I think we'll come in with some of the magenta again. But isn't that just gorgeous? And, that, and that's how I did it. Really simple. So here's the blue one back and I'm going to start off with some of the darker colours. I'm going to add some of this lovely um, petrol blue. I wanted to see the difference between adding the splatters when it's dry or add, adding it like I did um, when I did the first one whilst I was just go, going along and see what the different um, effects are. But I just think the splattering just adds so much um, to it. And then we'll add some of the darker, darker blue.
and I'm going to add some of the lighter, lighter blue. So I'm just repeating all the colours that um, I've got on the, the background. And it's fun doing this as well. Well, the boys have gone off to Malaga. Um, there's a football match on. Um, I've forgotten who's, who, who they're playing against. Um, Real Madrid, would it be? I'm not sure. Um, I've forgotten. They did tell me. Um, football's not really my thing, apart from when I'm watching Sam um, on the side on the sidelines. Um, but so they've gone off to see if they can get tickets. They tried to do it um, online yesterday, um, but they just couldn't fathom out um, the booking process. So they've gone down there to the stadium today. Um, we've been really busy. We have, yesterday we spent at the beach. Um, we were down there all day. Um, we took um, Sam's friend um, Chris um, with us and then um, they met up with, um, well, just bumped into a couple of friends that they'd met when they went to the aqua park the other day as well. So we went down at about midday and we didn't leave until gone um, eight o'clock at night. They were having so much fun. They've got sort of like bouncy castles um, in, the, in the sea um, and the kids just absolutely love it. Um, so they were off, as I say, doing that. And Stephen and I just sat reading our Kindles um, on some sun lounges out, outside of Chiringuito, a fish restaurant. So it was just lovely, really relaxing day. But oh boy, was it was it hot. It was right up well over 100 um, yesterday. Um, so a lot of time was spent um, in, in the shade. But my tan's coming, coming along. <laughs> So, uh, so no, that was um, a really lovely, lovely day. And then a couple of other friends from the urbanisation joined us later on in the afternoon as, as well. Um, and I got chatting to um, the mum of one of Sam's friends. Um, and Ragvita, she's from Lithuania. And she makes the most amazing um, art. Um, well, not art, just pieces, um, hearts and all kinds of things, candle holders, vases, out of shells that she picks up um, on the beach and she was showing me some photographs and they're absolutely stunning. And I've been promising um, that um, I would um, show Ginny my shell collection and I still haven't got round to doing it but when I get back I think some of the smaller shells I'm going to use and um, and have it having have a go at um, making some things out of them because they were just absolutely stunning the um, things that Rigvita had made um, absolutely beautiful um, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm adding now some of that really dark blue and I want much much larger splatters um, this time so I'm getting closer to my page And in fact, I just want to add some of the blue as well. Let's um, come in here just to darken it slightly. This is a bit pale for me. Let's add some darkness around the edges. I can add some in the middle as well. Keep doing this and just you know do what you want with it it's um it's your piece and you could do this with any kind of um watercolors you could you could use watered down acrylics for, for this as well if you if you wanted to i'm going to add some gold now onto the side of the uh, of that oh i like that And I'm going to put that to one side and right, let it dry. And here they are, dry now, and I just absolutely love these. Um, this one, where I had the pooling, I mopped it up with a kitchen towel, whereas this one, I just left it to dry naturally, and I prefer this. Um, if I hold it up close, if you look here, 
Um, it leaves sort of like a, t um, a shiny texture behind the same here and wh wherever it's pulled. Um, and I actually prefer that. I did that with the original blue ones that I did. And if I tilt that, I don't know whether you can see where, of course, I haven't got that on this because I mopped up all the excess um, liquid. Um, but hope you like those and hope you'll give it a try. Um, let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts and, and comments below. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, anyway, take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon.